Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a support that Ruto is looking for from Western Region. And for you to have a say or a control of Western Region politics, you first of all have to start from Kakamega County. Kakamega defines Western Region politics. And because of this, of course we know we have other leaders like Wycliffe, Ombeta, or Paranya, the former governor of Kakamega County, who also has a say in Kakamega politics. He's in Azimio as of now. And we know how Oparanya managed to deliver or help Raila Odinga deliver the Kakamega County, part of Busia and the Vihiga County. At least for Bungoma and Transoya, there is some kind of difference. Now with all this, we have seen how the government is using ESCC to fight Governor Oparanya because of his position. Now they are using ESCC to solve political differences. This meant two things. Either Oparanya to turn down, keep silent, or join the government side. With all this, we have seen Oparanya being so much determined to stay in active politics. Above all, Azimio is the way to go. In such a scenario, you would uh, anticipate to see Oparanya's opponents to use the fight against him as a political mileage. But that is not happening. To William Ruto's shock, the Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale is coming out in defense of Oparanya. Above all, Halwale is clear that he is open for a discussion with both Azmio and the Kenya Kwanza side. That means in 2027, he's not holding to either Kenya Kwanza or Azmio, but he can go either side, maybe Azmio or Kenya Kwanza. Remember, he's talking so when he's the current senator of Kakamega elected under UDA ticket. But he's not talking about UDA, he's now mentioning Azmio. This is a clear indication that there might be different realignment ahead of 2027. And the biggest loser might be William Ruto and the UDA party. So we are encouraging Governor Paranya in 2027 not to aim low, to aim high. And we are prepared to support him in that position at the higher level that he's going to aspire for because it should not be criminalized that when Kakamega asks for a high, the highest position in the land or the second highest position in the land, it is respect, disrespectful to some other county in our community. Our community is one with five counties. Kakamega has got Mbeza Oparanya as the senior most from our county and should he choose to then aspire for that high position, I would be urging the entire county to allow him to go to Nairobi to negotiate with other national leaders, including Raelo Molo Odinga and he has his other colleagues in the Azmio coalition and the president of Kenya for purposes of Kakamega also having representation at the highest level. What do I mean? I mean that myself and Governor Oparanya, we are open to discussions with leadership from either Azimio or Kenya Kwanza, so long as we deliver both power and development to the people of Kakamega and the Mulembe Nation. We would like my colleagues in Kenya Kwanza to understand me for that, because in politics it's said all politics is local. Nobody should take this as disrespect to any particular leader in the country. We are simply positioning our county and our community to play a better and bigger role in the development and political power structure of the Republic of Kenya. That the current investigations into the performance of the county government of Kakamega during the tenure of Governor Oparanya should be done professionally 
they should not start using it to persecute him. When they persecute him, they make us feel unwanted as people of this country. We don't want Oparanya to be persecuted. Let things be done professionally. Now, the question we are asking on this pipeline is that why is Bonhalwale defending Oparanya and embracing Azimio rather than standing with the government? Before we go deep into that, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, Kalwale is among the senior politicians in the Western region, and therefore he can see far and make a better judgment or prediction of the future in terms of politics. Therefore, his decision to go and stand with Oparanya, who is being persecuted by William Ruto's government, is well informed in line with the Kakamega politics. Remember, this man was elected on UDA ticket and is the only person among the top seats, because we have 15 seats, 12 constituencies, senator, governor, woman rep, Zote Kuminatan. Out of that, UDA managed to get one. Look at that. And the entire Azimio, you talk of that, we have only two members of parliament elected on ANC ticket. Shinyalu, then you're talking about um, you're talking about Kabaras something there. Two members of parliament. So out of 15, Kenya Kwanza has only three. The rest is for ODM, that's Azimio, because I know DPK party has one, Peter Salasi. How we get a word? You want to ODM. Therefore, Kakamega is Azimio, it is ODM. Halwale is looking for political survival. And you cannot survive when you engage in a fight against the majority when you are the minority in that area. So Galwana represents the minority. The best way for him to survive is to go against the government and stand with the people, stand with the majority. That is what he's doing there. Ingekuwa ni UDA iko na wabunge wengi, wako na wengi, hakuna vile angekuja kumaliza muda wake to come and talk of Oparanya or try to defend him. It will not happen so. But his decision is well informed by the current politics in Kakamega. So, it is not easy for William Ruto by the fact that Halwara decided to dump him and defend Oparanya, show openness to Azmio, ready to, uh, to negotiate with Azmio, is a decision that is well informed on a political just the ground, ground politics. So if he thought that intimidating Oparanya is going to give him a way, maybe Oparanya to realign, come to Kenya Kwanza, now the opposite is happening. Instead of Oparanya joining Kenya Kwanza, his ally, Boni Halwale, is joining as Mio. So who is losing in this war? <laughs> William Ruto becomes the biggest loser. Because Halwale think that or believes that it is better when the Mahali kuna watu. Watu wako kwa ODM na Azimio. People are not happy the way Oparana is being treated. So you can't join those, those who are being seen as persecuted or oppressors of the person that people respect and stand for. So Ameamua, it is more healthy politically to defend Oparana than defending the government. The war against Oparanya is backfiring. It is not bearing any fruit for Kenya Kwanza. The other issue is all about delivering the campaign promises to the people. Kenya Kwanza has failed in all the promises they gave to people. Anytime they walk anywhere, they are being viewed as liars. 
Because of that, there is a boiling rejection against Kenya Kwanza. So Kakamega is part of the region where Kenya Kwanza is being rejected. Halwane is learning that it is unhealthy to embrace a coalition that is being rejected by the people. The only healthy thing is to join people. How do you join people? Join the side that is supporting the people, standing for the people, and of course, being much more attractive to the people. That side, side is Azmio, and that is ODM. So he has made that well-informed decision that ODM is a part you can embrace, and Azmio is a coalition that you should be part of. So Halwale is trying to be with the people's side. Number three, we have seen Kenya Kwanza failing in terms of dealing with the issue of economy. They have increased taxes, so they target to bring down business by overtaxing. Make life so much expensive for Kenyans. Because of this, we have rejection. People are protesting every day. Kakamega is part of that. Kakamega is protesting. They don't like the manner in which Ruto is running this economy. So you cannot be a pro-people when you support the people who are being viewed as oppressors of the people. So Kenya Kwanza is being viewed as the oppressors, the enemy of the economy. So for you to survive politically, distance yourself from Kenya Kwanza and now make a decision to stand with the people. Standing with the people means support what Azmio is doing. Talk against this government. So by defending Oparanya, it means Halwane is standing with a man who has been viewed as a person who support the agenda make life affordable for the people. Lastly, Oparanya has a say in Kakamega politics. If he did not have any say, Kalwala cannot waste his time to go and stand next to Oparanya and issue a statement. He cannot. He can't risk. But he believed that I better risk losing Ruto and stand with Oparanya to gain the political grip of Kakamega. Remember, even during campaign, at one point, Kalwale came out and begged Oparanya to ask people to vote for him. Oparanya did so. Oparanya did so. So to some extent, they are also friends. To that level, you can't just allow your friend to be persecuted when you are watching. At times, you stand out and defend him. That is what all Oparanya, Kalwale is trying to do. I don't know your views, but I see Oparanya, eh, Kalwale soon dumping Kenya Kwanza for Azmio. Let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.